Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name. God. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name, God. Oh, God, we bless you today, Lord. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God, we welcome you in today, Father God. We invite you into this moment of time, Father God. We are inviting you in right now, Lord God, to come in and set the tone, Father God, to saturate our atmosphere, Father God, to consume us by your spirit, Lord God. Oh God, we are inviting you in today, Father God, to enter into our hearts, God, and enter into our minds, Father God, that you may take habitation, Lord God, that you will take residence, Lord God, inside of our hearts, Lord God, that you would, Lord God, be on our mind on today, Father God, that we'll give you our full focus and undivided attention, Lord God. We don't want to be distracted, Father God. We don't want anything, Father God, to be in the way of giving, keeping us, Father God, from giving you what we are required and asked to give to you on today, Father God. We don't want to be in a place, Father God, with our hearts and our minds on anything else, Lord God. Allow anything to be exalted and hiding you, Father God. We want to give you full focus, Lord God, as you embrace us, Lord God, as we embrace you, Lord God, as you give us the more, Lord God, and we give you the more of us, Lord God. Oh God, right now we want to hear your sweet sound, your your quiet and sound, a sweet voice on today, Father God. Right now, Father God, we want to feel your arm wrapped around, Lord God. Right now, Father God, we just want to simply be in that safe and that sacred place in you, God. And we know, Lord God, once we're in your presence, Lord God. God, that nothing else can do with us, Father God. We will enter into that safe and sacred place, Lord God. Into that umbrella, Father God, of safety and protection, Father God. We enter a place of peace and rest, Lord God. And that is where we want to be, Lord God. We want to enter into that place of peace and rest, Father God. And we know, Father God, we cannot do that, Lord God. We're dragging around some things, Father God. And we have things on our heart and our minds, Father God, that prevent you from coming in, Lord God, and giving us that peace and that rest that we need, Father God. So before we go any further, Father God, we want to empty out, Lord God. We want to declare. Father God, we want to unload our baggage, Father God, and cast our cares upon you, Father God. We want to release some things right now, Father God, and lay it at your feet, Father God. We want to drop some things out of our hands, Father God, because sometimes, God, we have things in our hands, Lord God, things on our shoulders, Lord God, things in our heart, things in our mind, Father God, so much stuff, Lord God, that we be carrying around, Father God, but right now, Lord God, we want to empty it all out totally and completely, Lord God, that you may fill us, Lord God, that you may give us what we need, Father God, because, Lord, you know what we have need of, God. So right now, Father God, we're going to empty it all out, Lord God, that you can fill us, Lord God, and refill us, Lord God, and fulfill us, Lord God, and give us what we need, Lord God. Oh God, right now we're going to empty out some clutter, Lord God. We're going to empty out some debris, Lord God. We're going to empty out some gunk and some goo, Father God. Right now, Lord God, we want to empty out these things totally and completely, Lord God, that you may fill us, Lord God, that you may fill us, Lord God, with some joy, some love, some hope, some peace, Lord God, that you may fill us, Lord God, with the fruits of the Spirit, the beatitude, Lord God, that you may fulfill us, Lord God, with that with that, that thing that we need on today, Father God, that thing that completes us and make us whole in you right now, Lord God. Lord, we are opening up ourselves, Lord God. We're coming to you right now, God. Make it unafraid and unashamed, Father God. We allow some things to be exposed, Lord God, so that you can cut it and dissect it, Father God, and remove it, Lord God, because it's not needed, Lord God. It's not useful, Father God, and it prevents us from being useful in the building of your kingdom, Lord God, and where we can follow God cannot be good workers, Lord God. So right now, Father God, we're emptying these things out, Lord God. We're going to give you any unforgiveness, Lord God. We're going to give you any anger and any rage, Lord God. We're going to give you, Father God, any hate, Lord God. We're going to give you, Father God, anything that causes us to have a strain on our brain, Father God. Anything, Lord God, that may be troubling us, Lord God. Whether it's concerning us or someone else, Father God. All right, now, Lord God, we're going to cast our cares upon you because we know that you're careful, Lord God. Oh God, we're going to give you all these things, Lord God, that be hidden in our treasure box, Lord God. The unknown things, God. The unspoken things, Father God. Those past things, Lord God. Those things, Father God, that Continue, Lord God, try to weigh us down and cause us to be heavy, Lord God, that you may fill our cups on today, Father God, because we want to be filled with the more of you, Lord God. Oh God, those areas, Lord God, that we have been emptying out, Father God, and getting rid of our trash and the gutter, the things of Father God that are gutter filled, Lord God, we're asking right now that you will fill us, Lord God, that you will fulfill us on today, Father God, because you know, Lord, what we have need of, Father God, that you may fill us, fill us right now, God, with some knowledge and some wisdom, Father God, as we empty out these things, Father God, that had us in the place, Father God, 
of not having clarity and understanding, Father God, and confusion, Lord God. Lord, we're empty out all these things that are not useful, Father God. These things, Lord God, that cause us to be tainted and messed up in our hearts and our minds, Father God. These weeds of today, Father God, the particles and the residue, Lord God, we are emptying all these things out to you right now, Father God, that you may fill us, Lord God. Because we need you to fulfill us, Lord God. Lord, we know, Father God, that you know what's best for us, Lord God. And that you know what has we have need of, Father God. So we come before you right now, God, because we trust you, Lord God, to give us exactly what we need, Father God. Even if that means that we need some chastising and some rebuke, Father God. We're emptying out and we're opening ourselves, Lord God, that you may give us, Father God, a heart of acceptance, Lord God. That we may be able to receive that chastising and correction, Father God. That we may, Father God, follow the right path, Father God. That we may make a choice to choose to do the right thing, Father God. And go forth in you, Father God. And be in a place of submission. Father God, be in a place of humility and meekness, Lord God. Oh God, right now we're emptying out any pride right now, Lord God. That you may give us, Father God, a humble spirit on today, Father God. Lord, fill us right now, Lord God. Oh God, they were asking right now, Lord God, that you'll make it overflow, Father God, because we want to be overfilled with those things that are of you, Father God, that we will operate the right way, Lord God, that we'll react the right way, Father God, that we won't lead to our own understanding, Father God, we won't be so easily moved, Father God, by some things, Father God, that we won't allow the enemy to come in and have his way, Father God. Oh God, fill us right now, Father God. Let us overflow with those things that are of you, Father God, that we may be strengthened, Father God, that may continue, Lord God, to stand, Father God, that may continue, Father God, go forth and fight this good fight, Father God, and not just lay down and die father Oh God, let it overflow right now, Lord God. Give us what we need, Father God. We are asking you right now, God, to fill us, refill us, God, and fulfill us, God. Lord, we are opening up ourselves to you right now, Father God, because you know what's best for us, God. You know what we have need of, Father God. Oh God, we're asking right now, Father God, that you will be our help right now, Lord God, because you are ever present help in time of need, Father God. Oh God, we're coming to you right now, Father God, and we're not going to plead in a place, Father God, or uh, be in proper, Father God, thinking and believing that we can figure it out and work it out on our own, Lord God. Oh God, we have no wisdom and no knowledge without you, Father God. So right now, Father God, we're emptying out that know it all spirit, Father God, because we know nothing without you, God. Lord, we are open right now, God, that you may, Father God, fill us, Lord God, because we need you to fill us, Lord God. Oh God, we're emptying out everything that's not like you, Lord God, that you may give us your spirit, Father God, because without your spirit, God, we will not even be here on today, Father God. We will not even know what to do, Father God, even what to think, Father God, which way to turn, Father God. Oh God, we're opening up ourselves to you right now, Lord God. We're allowing some things to be exposed, Father God. As we humble ourselves before you, Father God. Oh God, we're opening up, Father God. Oh God, search our hearts and die sick, Father God. Oh God, we're not going to have a hard heart, God. We're not going to have a stubborn and heart to heart, Lord God. We're not going to fight up against you, Father God. But we're opening up our hearts, Lord God. Because we need you to enter in and have your way inside of our hearts, Lord God. That we can be right, Lord God. That your righteousness, Lord God, can be imputed on the inside of us, Lord God. We need you to deposit some things in us on today, Lord God. So we are opening up ourselves right now, Father God. That they, these things, Father God, can be taken away, Lord God. And so there's nothing left but you, Lord God. Oh God, we are open, Lord God. We are open right now, Father God. We're open to you right now, Father God, that you may give us your truth, Father God, because we need that truth on the inside of us, Lord God, and then we will expose that lie on today, Father God, that that lie, Father God, will die on today, Lord God. Oh God, we're opening up, Father God, because you know what's God better than we know I was still, Father God. So we're asking right now, Lord God, as we come before you open, Lord God, as we come before you open, Lord God, that you will come in and have your way, Lord God. Oh God, we're coming to you humbly right now, Father God. We're coming to you, Father God, in spirit and in truth, Father God. Naked, unafraid, and unashamed, Father God, because we need you to fill us right now, Lord God. With your wisdom, your knowledge, your peace, your joy on today, Father God. Oh God, we need you to fill us right now, Father God, with some discipline on today, Father God, that we, Father God, will align with your will, your way, and your word, Father God. Oh God, and as we open up to you right now, Lord God, as we allow all these things to be exposed, Father God, we want you to know that you are welcome here, Lord God. You are welcome into our hearts and our minds and in our homes, Lord God, every area of our life, Father God. You are welcome, Father God, to be in the midst of our concerns and our issues and our troubles, Father God, because we know, Lord God, as long as you are at the center, Father God, you'll make everything all right, Father God. You put everything in its proper place, perspective in position, Father God. So you are welcome here right now, God. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, Father God. Lord, take residence, Father God. And we know, Father God, that you are not dwelling in the unclean temple, Father God. So anything, Father God, that will cause us to be contaminated, Father God. Anything that's causing our hearts, Father God, to be in a place of decomposition, Father God. Anything in our minds, Father God, that causes us to have evil and wicked thoughts, Father God, that you cannot take residence, Father God. That you cannot dwell inside of our temples, Father God. Oh God, we're asking that you remove it, Lord God. Take it all away, Father God, that you can enter 
peace and reign, Father God, and that you can dwell, Father God, and that you can roam around freely, Lord God, because we don't want anything hindering you, Father God, from roaming freely in our lives, Lord God, in every area, Lord God. Oh God, we bless you right now, Lord God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. Oh God, we thank you, Father God, for taking residence, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you want to take residence inside of us, Lord God, that you want to inhabit us, Lord God, that you want to dwell deep on the inside of us, Lord God, that we don't want you to go anywhere else, Lord God, and we surely don't want to go anywhere without you, Lord God. So no, Lord God, you're welcome here, God. Lord, settle here, Father God. Consume us by your spirit, Father God. Heavily saturate the atmosphere, Father God, because we need you to do some purification, Father God. We need you to do some washing and some cleansing, Father God. We need you, Father God, to capture angels around our homes, Father God, and guard us to protect us and keep us, Father God, because the enemies come coming, Father God, to wreak havoc, Lord God. The enemies coming to the enemies coming to kill, steal, and destroy, Father God. And we know, Father God, that He's just seeking whom he made the vow of Father God. So once today, Father God, we're welcoming you here, Father God, because we know nothing can stand in your presence, Lord God, that the enemy can't even stand up against you, Father God. He really has no rights, no power, and no authority, Father God, and he cannot do anything, Father God, unless he come to you first, Lord God. So we welcome you here, Father God, because we know, God, that you're the one who protects us and keeps us, Lord God. We know that you're the one, Father God, that regulates our minds, God. It is you, Lord God, that does all things for us, Lord God. It is you, Father God, that's the nurture and the caretakers, Father God. Oh God, it is you. It is it is you, it is you, it is you, Father God. And we want you to know that you are welcome here, Father God. Oh God, tear down the walls on today, Father God, that keep you out, Father God. All the barriers, Father God, that prevent you from coming in and having your way, Father God. And in everything, Father God, that keeps you from being who you are to us and for us, Lord God. Oh God, we welcome you, Father God, to tear it apart on today because we need you, Lord God. We need you, Father God, to come in and have your way in our lives, God. We need you to come in, Father God, and show yourself mighty and strong within our lives, Lord God. Oh God, every plot and every device and every evil wicked and tacking of the enemy on today Father God we need you to expose it and sever it right now in the name of Jesus Lord God oh God we come before you right now Father God as you expose the devices of the enemy Father God we just want to uplift our children to you right now Father God as you have allowed that device to, take, to be exposed Father God every plot every trick and every trade Father God every evil wicked and evil wicked whisper Father God that he's trying to put in the ears of our children Father God I'm asking right now God to guard their ear gates right now Father God their eye gates right now Father God Lord regulate and touch their minds Father God they will not Allow the whispers of the enemy, Father God, to deceive them and trick them, Father God, to do anything, Father God, that is not pleasing in your sight, Father God, or even allow the enemy, Father God, to make them think and believe, Father God, they are not worth, they are not valued, they are not loved, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking right now that you'll cover our children in the blood from the crowns of their heads, the soles of their feet, Father God, protect them, God, for any pedophiles and any murders, Lord God, any mean man, Father God, and even them own selves, Father God, because the enemy is trying to play tricks on the minds of our children, Father God, causing them to think and believe that they should self harm God, causing them to think and believe, Father God, they are not worth of worth. And they are not of value, Father God. Causing them, Father God, to be rebellious and disobedient, Father God. Let our children choose, Father God, to do it your way, Father God. Lord, I'm asking right now, just seven that, disres that disrespectful spirit, God, that rebellious spirit on today, Father God, that prideful spirit on today, God, that stubborn spirit right now, Father God, that lying spirit on today, Father God. Oh God, expose these demons on today, Father God, that the parents may. Be able, Father God, to effectively pray for their children on today, Father God. But on today, Father God, I stand the gap and make intercession for every parent on today, Father God. Whether our children be small, Lord God, whether it be teenagers, Lord God, or whether they be grown on today, Father God, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, Father God. That every enemy, every trick of the enemy, Father God, shall be stopped right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. We will bind and we rebuke every spirit, Father God, that is of the enemy, Father God, to be cast back to the pits of hell from once it came, Father God. And we welcome in your spirit, Father God, that your spirit will rule and reign over our children, Father God, that your spirit will dwell deep on the inside of our children, Father God, that your spirit will lead and guide and even protect and keep our children, Father God. Lord, cover our children in your blood on today, Father God. Because they need your covering and protection, Father God. Lord, protect those children, Father God, who have no one, Father God, to make intercession for them, Father God. Touch those children. Protect those children, Father God, that have no one, Father God, to stand in the gap for them, Father God. Protect and cover and keep those children, Father God, that they're in a position, Father God, that they don't have anybody to speak up on their behalf, Lord God. I make intercession for them right now, Father God, that you will go and see about them, Father God, that you allow somebody to cross their path, Father God, to take them in, that will nurture them, that will guide them, that will teach them and train them up in the right way, Father God. I'm Right now, God, you're going to the school system, Lord God, and that you will deal with the bullies, Lord God, that you'll deal with the meat. Me, men on today, Father God, whether it be an adult, Father God, whether it be another child, Father God, 
Oh God, you're welcome here in this land and in this earth, Father God. You're welcome here, Lord God, in the midst of our families, Lord God, to continue to do as you see fit, God, because you know what's best for us, Lord God. And we thank you, Father God, for knowing what's best for us, God. We thank you, Father God, for being a God that knows all things, that sees all things, and that's in the midst of it all, Father God. Oh God, we thank you right now, Father God, for your shield of protection, Father God, that you are building around our families, Lord God, that fence, Lord God, that's preventing the enemy from coming in and going to and fro and seeking whom he may devour God Lord we thank you right now God oh God we thank you right now Lord God continue Father God to saturate the atmosphere Father God continue Lord God to consume us by your spirit Father God and as we continue to go out and about Father God know that you are welcome in our lives Father God and everywhere that we go Father God because without you God we have nothing we know nothing our life has no value no worth and no meaning God so know God the invitation has been extended to you Father God because you have already extended the invitation to us, Father God, so you are welcome here today, Father God, to have your way, Lord God, have your way, God, have your way, God, have your way, God, do what you want to do, God, how you need to do it, God, when you need to do it, Father God, because you know, Father God, what's needed, Father God, you know what's best for God, and, and your timing is always perfect, Father God, so have your way today, God, have your way today, Father God, rule and reign on today, Father God, let the king go on inside of us, Father God, come to the forefront, Father God, and walk in authority, Father God, and utilizing the power, Father God, you have put on the side of God. No longer, Father God, allowing any device attacks of the enemy to go forward on today, Father God. Oh God, have your way on today, Father God. Move some things out the way for your people right now, Lord God. Allow some things to be shifted into position on today, Father God. Spiritual as well as natural, Father God. Oh God, have your way on today, God. Throw your weight around, Father God. Go into the courtrooms right now, Father God. And continue, Father God, to move on the mind of that judge, that lawyer, Father God, that jury, Father God. Continue, Father God, allow those papers to be shuffled, Lord God. Oh God, have your way today, Father God. Lord, you're welcome here, Lord God, to go on to our jobs, Father God, and regulate the mind, Father God, of that of that, em that employer on today, Father God, that's supposed to be giving promotion to your people, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you would keep their hand from being held tight, Father God, that it will be open, Father God, to give what your people, Father God, are, are already, Father God, are already, Father God. In, in position to receive on today, Lord God. Oh God, I'm asking that you would touch right now, Father God. Let your people receive what's already meant for them to have on today, Father God. Lord, I'm asking that you would go into the schools right now, Lord God, and touch the teachers right now, Father God. It's the children, Lord God, are taking their last test on today, Father God. That they will be in the place and showing favor to the children on today, Father God, to allow them to get some extra credit, Father God, to get those extra two points to be able to pass, Lord God. They may be able to go forward and proceed on today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking right now that you will have your way today, God, and throw your way around, Lord God, and move on the behalf of the marriages right now, Father God. Move on the behalf of that marriage, Father God, that is waiting for the reconciliation to take place, Father God, for the flame to be rekindled, Father God, for the love to be restored, Father God. Have your way on today, Father God, and the families, Lord God. Reconcile those families, Lord God, those mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers, Lord God, they may come together as one in unison, Father God, operating together, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking right now to separate the spirit of division, Father God. Anything that any may be trying to do, Father God, to cause division and cause the families and your people to be divided, Father God, in the churches, in the homes, on the jobs, in the schools, Father God, in friendships, Lord God. Oh God, I'm asking that you expose that trick and that device of the enemy of today, Father God. Have your way today, God. Have your way today, God. Have your way today, Father God. And we will get out of your way, Father God. We're going to step back, move to the side, Father God, and allow you to be you, Father God. We're not going to tie your hands, Father God, because sometimes, God, it is us that ties your hands, Father God, that prevents you from doing what you need to do within our lives, Father God, because we are stubborn, because we are disobedient, because we won't let some things go, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking right now to have your way, Father God, today and your people, God, and help them to let some things go, Father God, the things that have happened in the past, Father God, whether it be an action, whether it be a thought, Father God, whether it be something that was spoken, Father God, whatever it is, God, help your people to let go of that past thing, God, that you can help them, Father God, to be projected for Father God, into their future, Father God, because you have plans for us, Lord, there's a good and not of evil, Father God, you have hope, Father God, in, in store for us, Lord God, you have an expected end for us, Lord God, you have posterity, Father God, and prosperity, Father God, life alone, help, Father God, in store for your people, oh God, to help them to let some things go, Father God, that you can help them to be shifted and move forward on today, Father God, they can receive the abundance of life that you have in store from God, oh God, we thank you right now, Father God, for helping us to be shifted and projected forward, Father God, for helping us, Father God, to be launched, Father God, into their future, Father God, to the expected end, Father God, for that abundance of life, God, oh God, you are welcome here, Father God, because we want to be launched into their abundance life, Father God, we want to be projected, Father God, into their future, Father God, and we don't want nothing to hinder us, oh God, now even our own selves, God, so, Lord, you are welcome here, Father God. You are welcome here, Lord God. 
You're welcome here, Lord. Oh, God, have your way today, Father God. Move by your spirit, Lord God. Do what you want to do, Father God. Let's listen, Father God, and let us hear, Father God, that sweet, still sound of your voice, Father God, the calmness of your spirit, Father God, that we may go only in the way that you are directing for us to go, Lord God. You are welcome here, Father God, to be our instructor, Father God. You are welcome here, Lord God, to be our chastise, Lord God. You are welcome here, Father God, to be whatever it is, Lord God, that you see that we need you to be, Father God, because you are God. You are all that for us, God. You are I am to us, Lord God. And you are greater to be praised, God. Have your way today, God. Have your way today, God. Have your way today, God. Oh, God, you are welcome here, God. Oh, Lord, we bless you right now, God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, God. Have your way today, God. Glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name, Father. Oh, God. You are welcome here, God. Oh, God, we want to give you our thanks and appreciation on today, Father God. Give you our gratitude, Father God, for everything, Lord God, that you have allowed us to be able to receive right now, Lord God. We thank you right now, Father God, for the clothes on our back and shoes on our feet and the food on our table, Lord God. We thank you right now, Father God, for giving us a roof over our head, God, for giving us that shelter, Father God, for giving us a, a bed to lay our head in our beds, Father God, to lay in the pillow to lay our head on today, Father God. We thank you for clean running water, Father God. We thank you for the soap and the toothpaste, God, the washcloths and the towels, Father God, Lord. Lord, these things that may be mine to somebody else, Lord God, we know it's a privilege, Father God, for us to be able to have these resources, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that we can go into our kitchens, Lord God, and go into our cabinets, Lord God, and our refrigerators, Father God, and find something to eat, Father God. It may not always be what we want, Father God, but we have something, Father God. Lord, we're posturing our hearts in a place of gratefulness and gratitude because we're so privileged, Lord God, and we're so blessed, Father God, for you to give us these things, Father God. Because you don't have to, Lord God. You're not obligated to do these things. But you do, Father God. Oh God, we thank you for even the transportation that you provide for us, Lord God. Even if we don't have our own, God, we thank you, Father God, that you still make a way, Father God. And you still, Father God, moving the hearts and minds of somebody else, Lord God, to get us around, Father God, from point A to point B. And we return back home safe and sound just as we live, Father God. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, God. We thank you for the ideas, Lord God. We thank you for the creative, the creativity, Lord God, that you're giving us the skills and Father God, and our entrepreneurship, Father God, we thank you for the building of our clientele, Father God, we thank you, Father God, for the knowledge, Lord God, that you're allowing us to be able to receive to enhance our learning, Father God, oh God, this all you, God, and right now, God, we want to give you credit where credit is due, Father God, we're not taking any credit for ourselves, Father God, because we do nothing on our own, Father God, we can do nothing on our own, Lord God, oh God, we thank you today, Lord God. For what you're doing in our lives, Lord God. For what you're doing in our homes, Father God. For the goodness and this life that you're allowing us to receive, Father God. Lord, continue to prepare your people, Father God. To go through the process, Lord God. To receive every blessing that you have for them, Lord God. Oh God, continue to teach them, God. Continue to nurture them, Lord God. Continue to equip them, Father God. Continue to go forth in you, Father God. That they may walk into their divine destiny. Embrace their purpose in you, Father God. They may do everything that you have preordained and predestined, Father God. Let your people remember, Father God, that what is for them is just for them, Father God. That what you bless, no man can and with your curse, no man can bless Father God. And nothing that the enemy do can stop your plan for the lives from going over, Father God. For going forward, Lord God. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God. Oh God, we receive what you say on today, Father God. We accept the things that you're bringing forth to our attention, Father God. We'll take heed to it on today, God. Lord, we thank you today, God. Lord, I'm asking right now, Father God, that you continue, Lord God, to touch every person that we called out by name and prayer, Father God. Every person that we have made intercession for, Father God. Every family, Lord God, that we have called out individually by name, Lord God. You know what they have need of God. And I'm asking that you continue to see about them on today, Lord God. Let them continue to prosper in you, Lord God. Let them continue to be encouraged in you, Lord God. Continue to keep them in place of hope in you, God, and sever any fear on today, Father God. Any doubt and unbelief, Father God. But they'll just walk in trust and belief and be anchored in you, Father God, knowing with the confidence and assurance, Father God, that you are able, Lord God. That you are able, Lord God. That you can do exceedingly abundantly, Father God, with all they can ask, think, or even imagine, Lord God. And we thank you, Father God, for the exceedingly and the abundantly, Father God. Oh, Lord, we thank you today, God. Lord, I'm asking right now that you continue to touch our leaders, Lord God, spiritual as well as natural, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, to give them your wisdom, your knowledge, Lord God. They may continue to teach and preach and lead your people, Lord God, in the right direction, Father God. They may continue, Father God, to outpour the wisdom that you have given them, Father God, that your people, your sheep, may utilize on today, Father God. Lord, continue, Father God, to water our harvest, Father God. 
in this season, Father God, that our harvest may grow, Father God, and that it will be ready, Father God, for the timing of receiving, God. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God, for the watering of our harvest, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for the nurturing, Father God, for the cultivation, Lord God. Lord, we thank you right now, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father. Alpha and the Omega, our beginning and the end, our offer and the finish, Lord God. Oh, God, we glorify, Lord God. You are, I am, Lord God. Our King, Lord and our Savior, God. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name, God. Abba, Father, Jehovah, Jireh, God. We bless you today, God. We bless you. We bless you. God of truth. God of peace. God of Lord. God of joy. Oh, God, we bless you, God, for being all that you are. We acknowledge you in that on today, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for hearing our hearts cry, God. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing our prayers and our whispers, our cries, our screams, our moans, and our groans, God. We thank you, God, for seeing about us, Lord God, and doing as you see fit, God, doing what you do best, Lord God. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, God. Oh, God, I give you all the glory today, God. I give you all the honor right now, God, and all the praise, Father. And I pray and ask you things, Lord, in your son Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. Glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you, Father, because you are very much real and you're very much alive, God. Thank you, God, for revealing yourself in our lives, God. Thank you, God, for being real within our lives, God. Allow us to see these things visibly, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, have your way today, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Have your way in us tonight, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.